This is Hunter and Austin reacting to Fisherman and Businessman. Kind of a libtarded video, not gonna lie. But I feel like there's some <laughs> decent lessons to take from this. Yeah, like how to make a white screen. <laughs> oh, it's... <laughs> the Fisherman and the Businessman. A management consultant on holiday in an African fishing village watched a little fishing boat dock at the quayside. Noting the quality of the fish, the consultant asked the fisherman how long it had taken to catch them. Not very long, answered Wait, what? the fisherman. Well, the how is the fish quality? What makes a fish quality? Uh, I don't know, maybe it's just like the color of it. Because there is like legit differences. If you ever watch those uh, like deep sea catching ones where they like go out and catch the tuna and they like examine no. it and then they sell it depending on like the quality like the price can like differentiate by with like the quality of like the core of the tuna and stuff like whether it's rotten whether it has like a good good marbling stuff like that you know oh, and why is this boy wearing a suit and tie in like an african village he's a really he's like consultant he's dressing <laughs> oh, he's dressing in his aunt for his job while he's on vacation oh, in an african yeah. country oh, yes. oh damn oh damn you're like 100 degrees out there he's like yep they could die. Oh, wait, I have to. I can't say that. <laughs> okay, wait, I'll cut that little bit out. But anyway, um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's also only like four fish. Yeah. There's only four fish in there, and he's like, an investment opportunity. Yes. You know, honestly, this is just the classic example of the white man stealing from the black man. True. Okay. True. <laughs> so then why didn't you stay out longer and catch more? Asked the consultant. Very true. Very true. Why don't I? It's like those uh, stories about like how, um, like they, have you ever heard about those stories about like the African farmers, like they they come and give them like seeds and stuff, right? But they don't like replant the seeds. Have you heard about that? Oh, oh. Like they'll go so to good. Africa and they'll give these people like, oh yeah, we'll we'll give you the this this season's crop, right? And they don't, and like, they don't re-harvest the they seeds. Oh, dang, at first I thought they just ate the seeds, and I was like, that sounds very inefficient. Nah, but they, they like, they don't actually, like, replant the seeds. I remember reading something. Have you ever thought about actually replanting the seeds? Because, I mean, that, that'd probably help a little bit, you know? Just a little bit. But, like, you know, I feel like the dichotomy of this, because, like, I don't know. We'll continue. The fisherman explained that his small catch was sufficient to meet his needs and those of his family. The consultant asked, But what do you do with the rest of your time? I sleep late, fish a little, play with my children, have an afternoon's rest under a coconut tree. In the evenings, I go into the community hall to see my friends, have a few beers, play the drums, and sing a few songs. I have a full and happy life, replied the fisherman. The consultant ventured, I have but he an doesn't MBA have Twitter. From... He doesn't. That's great. He doesn't have Twitter. He can't have a happy life without Twitter. Oh, yes. Okay. Right. Now right. we're about to get into the super like libtardy like um, high time preference. Is it high time preference that's immediate? Maybe I have no idea. I think it is high time preference. Like now, now, now. Harvard and I can help you. You should start by fishing longer every day. You can then sell the extra fish you catch. With the extra revenue, you can buy a bigger boat. With the extra money the larger boat will bring, you can buy a second one, and a third one, and so on, until you have a large fleet. Instead of selling your fish to the middleman, you can negotiate directly with the processing plants, and maybe even open your own plant. You can then leave this little village and move to a city here, or maybe even the UK, from where you can direct your... The UK? Enterprise. Why would you want to move to the UK? That's a good question. I think this might have been made for UK audiences. This specific because this is like imagine making a video for the British. British. I'm British. Don't you want to be a British? British. 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 Also, that that, that little pond doesn't look like it could fit four boats at all. Okay, but it's supposed. I, I assume it's supposed to be like a dock or like a harbor type I thing. Assume. I assume so, yeah, but at the same time, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's a pond to me, at least. Or it's, like a little lake. Just suspend your disbelief, okay? Oh, yeah, suspend the disbelief. Asked the fisherman. Oh, ten, maybe twenty years, replied the consultant. That's pretty good, though. Like, that's a pretty good yeah, turnaround no, time. 
to be. I mean, what's the average, like, the median, like, income in Africa? I don't know. It's like... And think about all, like, the good jobs. 10,000 maybe? All the well paid, like, good paying jobs and stuff. Oh, yeah. Anyway. 10 to 20 years for prosperity. Not bad. And that's pretty decent. If you can set up, like, a headquarters in, like, you, you, the UK just for your fishing operation. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, yeah. that'd probably well, be a bad business I decision. Yeah, I don't think you should. Like, uh, well, maybe you should because they left the EU. You know, now that they left the EU, it might be a good decision because they don't have to abide by the EU, like, fishing regulations. But maybe. I mean, I feel like you, you'd you probably just be better in the long term to just keep it where you found oh, it. Yeah, keep it localized. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe this person just has a view that African communities don't provide anything. Maybe. Outside of the exploitation of their labor. Oh, yes. Asked the fisherman. After that, that's when it gets really interesting. Answered the consultant, laughing. When your business gets really I don't big, want to see him laugh you can start again. selling shares in your company and make millions. Millions? Really? Billions. And after that, pressed the fisherman. After that, you'll be able to retire, move out to a small village by the sea, sleep in late every day, spend time with your family, go fishing take afternoon naps under a coconut tree, and spend relaxing evenings having drinks with friends. Okay. Do you see what they did there? Yeah, like, but that's what he does now. Yeah. But, I mean, it's kind of avoiding the major point that, like, he can't do, like, he can't do what he could do, like, in the future, because he's going to be, like, assuming that he's the average African, you know, He's probably not very wealthy, and thus he can't do that much. But like, say he was a the CEO of like a multinational fishing corporation, or even just like a retired CEO. Like, oh yeah, like he he's still like a majority of the company probably. probably. So he'd be able to make like a bunch of money, and he'd be able to live life, you know, yeah, live and a security. Because like one of these days he's gonna be too old to fish and just have like a subsistence lifestyle. Oh yeah, yeah, but like. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like this video portrays, like, the, uh, like, I don't know, just living life for pleasure instead of, like, actually building something, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's something to be said about, like, spending time with, like, family and all that, but, like, I don't know, a lot of it's just, like, I don't know, just getting the bare necessities. Yeah. That's not very good. Like, how are you going to progress? Like, I don't know. It might be good, like, short term, maybe, but even that. Yeah. Like, you'd have to be thinking, like, really, really short-term. Like, yeah, but, like, the, the difference between, out. like... The difference between, like, this set of events, Can like, right here, me? where he's, like, living... What he's doing now, and, like, this, like, hypothetical situation is... This one, he doesn't have the security, you know? Oh, yeah. On this one, he, he has security. You know, it doesn't matter if he makes, like, enough money. It doesn't matter if he catches any fish whenever he's... He could just be vibing on the boat, not doing anything, you know? And also, how does he pay his rent? Well, I think... Does he consider his landlord fish? <laughs> Maybe. I think he probably does. Oh, he just his land. More fish a day. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't know if I care really enough. How does he buy the beer? Uh, that's a good question. How does it, you know? And also, like, with that more money, you'd be able to help, like, your community. So, say, you know, you didn't want to leave, you know, go and become a British person, you know? British. You, I don't know. British. British. Let's say this is, like, South Africa or something. Like, no, let's not. I don't know. Random like country. Somalia. You could... Somalia, sure, Somalia, great country, beautiful country, totally. home of numerous beautiful people. Like the pirates. I, oh yeah, like the pirates. <laughs> My favorite people are the Somali pirates. Oh, yes. But like, <laughs> think about all the good that you could do for your community if, like, you made that like the like the factory in like your hometown, you know, and then you built the headquarters in your like hometown area. Think about it. Think about all the good that you could do for your community. Oh, yeah. You could provide, like, hundreds of... Well, not hundreds of thousands, but, like, hundreds of jobs, you know, maybe even thousands of jobs maybe for your community, and then they'd be able to grow, you know? Yeah, and you'd be providing more than just, like, what you directly provide as well, because it's like, oh, yeah, you provide... You have your headquarters there, so that means, like, oh, yeah, there's got to be stuff catering to the people who live there. You know, like, uh, oh, yeah. like a restaurant, or, like, a, a, a <laughs> store, or... Expand the tavern where you go and drink with your buddies already, you know? Buys the tavern. Oh, yeah. So that he can drink there forever and ever. Yeah, but like. With the boys. 
just think about like like it's such a it's such like a weasley little little thing because you see what they're saying they're saying like oh yeah don't go out and work hard just like these people have it the but best. if you don't work hard like nobody's gonna contribute anything to society society's gonna be like a like stagnate 100 percent. no growth no innovation nothing like that you know yeah, like, like you think we'd be where we are today if people weren't like you know i'm gonna like do this i'm gonna go beyond you know right. nah it's no just, way it would be it's such a like it's such a bad outlook on life i feel like to just merely live to exist and not to like build anything uh, and like just think about like you know oh yeah he can like go but what happens if he gets like freaking malaria or something you know he's kind of fucked oh, yeah. Gets malaria, dies. But like you know, as as like a multi-millionaire, oh yeah, you're fine. And in fact, you know, you can build like a hospital or something in your town, and you know, save like all the other people from getting like malaria or breaking a leg or something like that. You know. I suppose you could. I don't know. I think. So. Well, I was about to say. I think most African like major cities have hospitals. But then I was like, oh yeah, probably not Somalia. Probably not. But, like, even then, like, you know, having, like, a local, not even, like, a big hospital, but just, like, providing, like, paying a decent wage to, like, a doctor or something to the local townsman so that way he, he can, like, you know, hire, he can, like, or, you know, building a school or something like that, you know. Oh, yeah. Build a school. Build a school. Contribute to society, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like. Imagine not contributing to society. Thing. It couldn't be me. It could be that fisherman who barely contributes to society. Some may even say he just stagnates society. He kind of do. I mean, yeah, he do be. Like it's not even like he's producing. I mean, I guess he's producing excess value in that, like, some fish. Yeah, he produces enough to like buy a few beers every now and then. But like, what? I don't. Know. I don't know. It doesn't sound. I don't know, I feel like I'd also get bored, you know, like, dang, there's something to work, you know. There is. Like, I might not love working, but I like it, you know, it's enjoyable, you know. It's, it's necessary. It's, it's necessary, you know. It's like that, it's like, uh, uh, you know, Theodore Kaczynski talks about this in uh, his rather controversial book. <laughs> Theodore Kaczynski? You mean Dad Kaczynski? <laughs> I mean, his whole name is Theodore. I'm just trying to be like, oh yes, it's not the Unabomber, I swear. It's Theodore Kaczynski. <laughs> Distant relative of Ted Kaczynski. Oh my god. But like, Imagine being Theodore Kaczynski. But yeah, he talks a lot about it. I'm not the Kaczynski and because I named my son Theodore. Oh yes. <laughs> I don't know, is the Unabomber going to be well known? Because I feel like even nowadays a lot of people wouldn't be able to be like, oh yes, this is the Unabomber's name, you know? Possibly. I don't know. But anyway, he talks a lot about in his uh, manifesto about like how, you know... With... Let's not call it a manifesto. Let's just say, you know... His treaties. His diet. His, his, his diary. That's what it is. Yes. <laughs> he talks a lot about like how... A lot of people are dissatisfied because they're not actually producing anything. Like, they all have just, like, busy work jobs nowadays that don't actually mean like, anything. Like, random administrative jobs and all that? that are yeah. Like, they, quite they don't actually like do like, anything. Oh, yeah. Like, with, like, schools and all that? Dang, bloated administration, especially in, like, universities. Oh, my God. And the only thing they serve, they don't even help society. I'd say that they're even, like, a detriment to society. Oh, yeah. Because they just bloat the cost of education so much, like... Maybe you think about one person. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know what the average salary is. I'd say, you know, $40,000 would be, I don't know, a conservative estimate, maybe. I don't know, honestly, how much, like, the average, like, random administrative assistant at a, a university gets paid. Probably depends on, like, tenure and all that. But, you know, $40,000, they probably jack up the tuition by, like, a couple thousand, like, well, not them individually, but, like, maybe $100. Collectively, Collectively they probably jack it up, like, Fifty percent, like damn. Probably. And Honestly, if they just set the administration to like what it should be, school would be a lot cheaper. It would be. Which you know, I mean, that'd go a long way to helping unburden students of, that are like in a lot of student loan debt. Oh yes, it would. Honestly, it would because you know they wouldn't have to pay as much. Yeah, we need they to would. do like a video dedicated to like school and like college and like just how bloated it is. Honestly. 
just because of, like, like, you know, that tweet I made earlier, like, that, the tweet I made a couple days ago that was kind of a joke about, like, you know, like, it's a, it's a bougie thing, like, a uh, gen ed. Oh, yeah, like gen, ed's, gen eds are so pointless, like, legit. Like, they legitimately Honestly, only exist. English, but then most schools require, like, English this and, like, you know. Or, like. There's so many, like, required classes, like, you know. If I go to, like, the list of, like, classes that I need to take to graduate, I got a shit ton of stuff. Like, unironically, very annoying. Like, yeah, I take fucking, like, humanities classes, you know. It's, uh, it's pretty annoying, you know. You gotta take some... I think you have to take, like, a science class, like, biology or something like that. That's what I'm taking. Which, yeah, like, biology. I don't think I've taken mine yet. I'm not, Honestly, I kind of want to just take the AP exam again, but I can't. Dang. I didn't take the physics AP exam, but I think I could pass it. Maybe. They still Probably haven't enough. gotten back to me on my AP stuff. It's so dumb. No. Yeah, Even though, I, it. if I look at... Like, I sent the scores to school. This is a complete tangent. But, like, I sent the scores to school, and they never processed it. Even though, <sighs> if I look at what... I If I go to their, like, thing that compares, like, Oh, yeah, if you get this score on the AP exam, you get this credit. I get a credit for every single AP test I've taken. Oh, yeah. It's so dumb. Dang. Walk up to the, uh, I don't know, who would you go to that? Transfers, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Some office. But, like, I submitted it, and whatever. I'll deal with that maybe later. Maybe you know, counselor. Maybe you should deal with it now. You're going to school later today. Just, uh, hit, hit up your, uh, account, maybe not your counselor. Or just email somebody. Be like, hello. Hello. When will my, uh, credits be transferred over? I would like to know so that I can plan my, uh, next semester schedule, you know? Yes, cause like, well, I probably will talk about that this Friday with my cons, because I think the appointment I made was this. Okay. Maybe, I don't know. I kind of forgot. Did you set an alarm for that? I, I, um, I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. So why'd you set it for Friday? Why didn't you set it for fucking, like, oh yeah, because you don't have work on Friday. You're right. I was going to say, why didn't you set it for Monday, since you go there on Mondays, but, you know. Yeah. Well, it's then a you have work meeting now. anyway, so. Oh, yeah. It do be a Zoom meeting. Well, okay. I, any closing remarks for the reaction to the fisherman and businessman? I don't know. Living in the now, I don't know. I, I don't think it gives you like very much like true happiness. Like, you know, you need that purpose. You know, and obviously, you know, you you can have some enjoyment out of it. But I don't know. Yeah. It might be for some people, but definitely not for me. Because I feel like if I'm not doing something like pushing myself, I don't know. It's also What's like the point? A detriment to society. You know, it do be a detriment to society. Like think about how much he would be helping these people right here if he oh, yeah. had like. A think about your homies. All right. Think about the homies. Okay. Oh yes, you gotta, you gotta be thinking about the homies and your children. Oh yes. Well.